YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about Movavi Video Editor and how to pan and zoom in Movavi Video Editor. Now, as you all know, I have a few more videos, you know, about Movavi Video Editor and uh, I like this video editor really, really much and uh, I think that it is uh, not too expensive and it's a great video editor if you want to edit YouTube videos or something like that. So. I would like to, to speak in this video and to show you in this video how to pan and zoom in the Movavi video editor and how easy it is actually. So I think that the best, the best option would be if we get into my computer straight on and uh, I will show you in my computer because you can see over there how I do and what I do. So let's get into my computer and uh, let's see how I do it. So we are in my computer now and let's open up Movavi Video Editor and uh, let's see how to pan and zoom in Movavi Video Editor. Now, as you could see maybe in my other video, uh, I use this video editor because it is very easy to use and it is very user friendly. So uh, for the work I do, for the video work I do and the video editing I do, this is a perfect video editor which is not too expensive and at the same time it is quick and easy to work with. So let's set our project into uh, Ultra HD 4K mode and uh, let's get into it. So add some footage to the, to the timeline. I just give a background over here quickly. So we like you, like you all know probably I do my uh, I do my videos with green screen most of my videos not all of them but most of the videos I do with green screen so I will have to uh, to add some background usually what I do I uh, just quickly I will do quickly over here so uh, I don't pull the time. Okay, I just uh, I just put a short video here, so um, this is not uh, not a long one. But anyway, I can show you in this video how to do the the pan and zoom. And first of all, we do the chroma keying. And that's it. Now. If we leave the video on, I will switch off. I will switch off the the audio so it won't disturb us. Now, as you can see over here, you don't have to look at the video quality over here because that is just a preview. So the final quality will be different. Now, when you want to add some pan and zoom, you just come to the section pan and zoom, and then you will give a zoom in. First of all, you have to stop the video. Yeah, it it can't. Uh, be rolling because otherwise it's not possible so go to zoom in you are the zoom in section where you want to zoom most of the time if you want to pan now let's say we zoom in on this section just like that and then after you just pull the cursor a little bit further and then you go pan and add pan and now you will see that there are two two uh, squares over here, the white and the red. The white is the starting point and the red is the finishing point. Now you will pull the, the, um, the finishing point where you want to finish the panning. And then you will pull the, the cursor a little bit further away and then you give a zoom out. And that's uh, the, the, the software automatically will zoom out at the full frame, you know, like where uh, the full recording. So let's see how it is when we leave it on. So it's just like that. And then it will zoom in as you see, and then it will pan. Now it's panning and then it will zoom out. And that's it. Is it that, that easy it is to pan and zoom. I just leave it again. So if you go like that, just leave it on, it's uh, rolling. And now it is zooming in and now it is panning. And now it is zooming out. Now, if you want to to uh, to make the the time longer, then you can do it by pulling these these uh, these points on the timeline. So, if you want to zoom out to be longer, you can pull this how long you want. 
or if you want to, the panning to be small, uh, slower, then you can pull, the, this is the panning in the middle, this is the panning, this is zooming in, like you can, you can pull this, make it longer as well, and then you can do this as well. So you can, you can see now, I will, I will set a little bit to be small, uh, slower, sorry. So the panning will be really slow. Now you can see over here, I will, I will leave it on, go. So it will zoom in a little bit slower, zooms in slower. You see now it's panning really slow. As you can see, it's panning really, really slowly now. And then after it zooms out slower. So the time, you decide the time, how, you, how long do you want to zoom in, in how long, and how long do you want to pan and zoom out in the same time. So that's, that is how easy it is to pan and zoom in Movavi Video Editor. Now you can also give um, panning, the example, or zoom in, you can also uh, to put on your background. So the background, let's say not, not over here because, uh, just a second, I will, I will delete this. So let's bring it over here and let's give over here. So we'll zoom in over here. Then we move a little bit further and then we give pan. Oh, sorry, I, for I forgot here to set the zoom. Uh, so let's come here. Yeah. And then we go to the panning and that's it. And then you pan on this side. And then you go over here and zoom out. Now, in this situation, you will see that the background will change, but the subject will be the same. I mean, I will be the same, you know, the background will change. You can see that the background is moving behind me, as you can see, and it's panning and it's going out. That's it. That's how easy it is. You can you can go creative and you can do however you like. You know that's why I like Movavi Video Editor because it is very fast and very easy to work with. I have to tell you that if you want to do the same thing in uh, in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is actually a, a very very good and brilliant software, you know, but it is so complicated and it's so not user friendly that it's unbelievable. If you want to do that in, in Adobe Premiere Pro, you will you will take much longer time to do this, you know, like over here. Here is just click a few clicks and it's done. I mean, over there you have to go into the menu, go this filter, that filter, add over here, give over there, you know, it's just ridiculously complicated. Now, that's only my opinion and that's why I use Mova Video, Video Editor because I think that life is too short, you know, to, uh, to mess around with uh, menus and all kind of uh, BS, you know. Anyway, this is, like I said, only my opinion. I don't want to hammer Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a great software. If you want to use it, so be it. I just find this software very helpful and find it very good to me. And I think that it will be great, you know, even in the future to me. So uh, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. And uh, if you want to see more videos about Movavi, please leave a comment down below and I will try to, uh, to make it more and more. So uh, I will make some short videos, you know, how to do this, how to do that, so you can, you can see what I'm talking about. Now, if you have any question, please feel free and leave a comment down below. And uh, other than that, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.